Welcome, Namaste, Namaskar. Welcome back to Jalprayag. Uh, I'm making a video on uh, the same concept which I had done earlier, which is your beam and CPA. So I will call this part two of the same uh, concept. If you remember in the last video, I had uh, not taken any environmental forces to deal with, but this time I'm going to use environmental forces. So I'm going to take current separately, then I'll put even wind also. And uh, then I'll give you a case with a different uh, orientation of current just to see the uh, different type of uh, answers you can get in the question. And uh, then finally, what I will do is I will show you uh, a second way of dealing a beam concept because both these uh, ways can come to you in your numericals also. So you need to know how to uh, phrase your answers and uh, your diagram based on the question itself. So uh, let us go to this uh, second part. So I've uh, mentioned beam and CPA part two. So this is the last part for your beam and CPA concept. So let us have a look on this. A quick recap on what we did uh, in the last module based on the same thing. A very quick recap, important bullet points. So your fore and aft line heading is always the CTS. Uh, beam is always perpendicular to the CTS. CPA is always perpendicular to the CMG. One small exception is there that uh, when I don't have any current or wind, your CTS is equal to CMG. So CPA and beam positions are same and all the readings also will be same. Uh, this is the last sentence is what we saw in the last module. So you can have a question like this, but uh, uh, slightly rare. Why? Because uh, there's no point in giving both of them same. So uh, they will try to give you some forces. So I'm going to take uh, straightforward an example of uh, a very similar question we did in the last module. It's very, very similar. You will realize that. I'm going to give you an initial fix of uh, a vessel. And again, just like last time, I have a lighthouse Yankee. And the intention is to pass three miles. Keep the Yankee on my port side. Again, I'm asking you what is the course to steer? CPA beam with the lighthouse. But this time I'm giving you a northwesterly current in that area. Okay. So current we know is setting towards. So the water is flowing towards northwesterly. And as usual, like last time, you may be asked about these four different titles also on the beam as well as four titles on the CPA as well. Now, in uh, last module, both these last two sentences were same, exactly same. Why? Because I did not give you a force. But now everything will be different. So you will have to be careful. So uh, please look at what part of the question you are doing. So let us quickly see the basics of it. Okay. Again, I'm giving you a lighthouse X. So this is regarding your initial fix. I've given you a lighthouse Y. I'm telling you, please pass three miles off. So I will draw a circle. Uh, my position should be never inside this circle. That is what uh, was the concept of passing three miles off, minimum three miles off. Now, uh, when I say that I want the lighthouse to be on the port side, I'm again going to draw a line tangent to this circle. You will see that I'll be drawing tangent on the southern side of this lighthouse so that when I travel, I will see that particular lighthouse on my port side. But you have to be very careful here. The previous tangent which I had drawn, I had particularly given with a color. So if you have forgotten, you can always go and have a look. But now I'm going to draw once again. This is the current and this is the line. Please see this line's uh, color is different. Right now I marked with green. Earlier it was a different color. But why is that? Because now I've given you environmental forces. Whenever I give you environmental forces and I tell you to keep three miles off, that means the position of the vessel has to be on this line and you have to be only three miles minimum. So, which clearly means that this is your CMG track. Earlier in the last module, it was the CTS track directly because I did not give you the forces. Now this becomes a CMG track. So it's very important for you to realize. 
Now, if you see what all data I've given you approximately in this question, I have not given you values, but I've just given you uh, some uh, clue. Uh, by drawing this line, I've already got my CMG. I can measure the CMG on the chart. I've already got the CMG. So I have one CMG. Uh, I've given you your set and rate, northwesterly. Let us say some two knots, three knots and all. So that means I have got two more values. So first was CMG, then it is your set and rate. And of course, I have, give, I have to give you a fourth data to complete the triangle, which will be obviously your engine speed because I'm asking you what is the CTS. So CTS has to be found. Immediately, you should realize I'm going to do a counteracting method of solving a triangle. So in counteracting method, we have seen uh, uh, just a couple of uh, days back or a week back, you will always start with the given current to solve the problem, to find out what CTS should I steer to fight this current and stay on this track. So please apply the current here. Let us say you can draw one hour triangle, choice is yours. Please apply the current here for one hour. Take your engine speed and cut an arc and you will see you will get a CTS. So you have found a CTS. But with this CTS, you will be sailing from your initial fix only. So that means the vessel will start from the initial fix and will start sailing like this. From the initial fix, it starts sailing like this. This will be the orientation. So you will see it will carry on like this. Now, two things I want to find is what is beam and what is CPA? Again, beam is always perpendicular to your fore and aft line. So you will realize that the, when the vessel reaches approximately this position on your CMG track, you might find this exactly 90 degrees to your fore and aft line is the lighthouse. So if this happens, then that means this spot is your beam position. The spot is your beam position. 90 degrees to your fore and aft line. But is it the closest point of approach? Answer is no. Closest point of approach is always going to be related to your position and your CMG track. So how closest you are, that is exactly the tangent point with that circle and your course made good. So the tangent point is here. So when you join the lighthouse, you will see this tangent point will be 90 degrees to your CMG track. And this is what we have been discussing. CPA is always perpendicular to the CMG track. Beam is always perpendicular to your fore and aft line. So we have proven both of them here as a problem also. Now this is where, as I had mentioned slightly earlier in your first question also, they may ask me on the beam, they may ask me the position, you can calculate. They will ask you the range. So range is Bravo and Yankee is the range. They will ask you the bearing. Obviously, bearing is 90 degree on the port side from your fore and aft line, which you have calculated. Already you have calculated the triangle. And then they will ask you the beam time. Okay. So similarly, they will ask you for the CPA. CPA position. CPA range. CPA range is Charlie Yankee. And your CPA bearing is 90 degrees to your, uh, your CMG track. And then they will ask you what is the time for CPA, which is called TCPA. Now, with all this, there's only one thing you should be careful regarding is the time. Please remember, since your vessel is always on the CMG track, the position of the vessel, and I'm measuring everything on the CMG track, the yellow spot and the red spot, the time what you will take or time what you will find will depend on a speed. And that speed is not your engine speed, it is the SMG. Please remember this in your questions. Okay. I could have done the other way also. I could have traveled uh, in such a way to make a tangent so that I can keep the lighthouse Yankee on my starboard side also. So I'm not showing you that. It's possible. It's very, very similar. I'll quickly show you uh, this similar concept uh, here on the chart. I put the prevailing current as northwesterly. Let us say from the bill of Portland, I have initial fix. And you can see on the right-hand side top, I've given you a lighthouse. 
uh, imaginary lighthouse and this is what it is i'm supposed to uh, keep 3 miles off and uh, keep the lighthouse on my port side so i'm going to draw this green color line specifies cmg track okay i'm going to do counteracting method i apply the current for 1 hour apply the engine speed for 1 hour get a course and let us say this course i have found out is 1102 now this is where your uh, main uh, job of your whole problem starts 110 please remember 110 beam is always 90 degrees to your fore and aft line which is 110 this light is going to be on your port side so very obviously 110 minus 90 020 you can directly draw a line called 020 from the lighthouse or from you to him 020 and that spot which crosses on your cmg track is your beam position it's very easy now the next job for you is to find the cpa cpa is always at the tangent point so tangent point can be uh, measured and done how you know the cmg track let us say you found out the cmg track as 080 you measured it on the chart obviously from 080 whatever you take let us say 080 Minus ninety, because again is on the port side. So three five zero, you can draw a line of three five zero, and that point is your CPA position also. So uh, this is how you would have solved the problem. Again here, they will ask you the range, the bearing. We already seen both the bearings are there with me. Range you can always measure, and uh, then uh, he will ask you the position so both the yellow spots position you can find out in gps uh, with the chart and just write it down i'm sorry not gps on the chart then the time and as i told you please be careful for your time whenever you are dealing with cmg you should deal all with this smg so don't make the mistake of taking your engine speed in this question okay this is how the vessel will go this is your beam 90 degrees this is your cpa 90 degrees to your cmg track now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add wind why because people start doing mistakes the moment you add wind now this is where a small catch is there so let us look question is exactly the same i will not change the current i will not change the position let us keep the same uh, lighthouse as yankee also same 3 miles and same cmg track now how do you solve this again i am supposed to find the cts so it is a counteracting method now this time again i am going to draw counteracting method so i am going to start with plotting the current first for 1 hour let us say cut your engine speed for 1 hour and this line which is joining please remember it is not the cts it is a leeway track now how do you fight the wind you let go towards the wind and this gives you the cts and now the vessel's orientation is somewhat like this with the cts again please remember beam is always with the cts cpa is always with the cmg so when i is travel like this you will have a position somewhere where your fore and aft line will be 90 degrees to the lighthouse and that point is called your beam position and then when you travel a little bit more where you skim your circle and that point will be your cpa that will be 90 degrees to your cmg track again you can find your uh, position you can find your bearing you can find your range and time time please remember smg okay i can do this on the other side also just for the sake of understanding okay uh, i'm going to just quickly change uh, uh, the wind direction and let us say i will change the current direction also you see i have changed the current direction this southeasterly wind is coming from south earlier if you remember wind was coming from north so this is only for depiction just to show you how if you change what happens let us quickly see i'll be fast on this uh, again i'm going to do counteracting method so current is here cut your engine speed this is your leeway track but this time you'll be fighting against the wind like this so that means my vessel is going to travel like this you will see there is a slight change in things how it happens you will realize that i will encounter my cpa position first 
and then only I'll encounter my beam position. It is because of my orientation of the vessel. So things can come here and there. They can change uh, uh, the direction of the current and the wind. Don't bother about it. It's everything is evident on the picture. So you will be able to handle any type of question. So this is uh, the type of question. This is the first type of question where they are asking you a beam by telling you to uh, pass a lighthouse with some particular distance. That means uh, the criteria in this question is passing a safe distance. That is how it is. Okay, It is called a particular distance. I'm going to go to the second type of beam concept. Let us quickly look into the second type of beam concept. Slightly different. This comes in your exams also in MMD questions. So let us see. This is an alternate uh, concept. I'm going to give you a small question so that we can start off with a small question. Uh, vessel's initial fix is known. Let it be just like last time. What is the course to steer to have a lighthouse Yankee, a beam, after 30 minutes with engine speed as 12 knots? You should realize the question is slightly different. But here also he is giving you initial fix. Here also he is giving you a course to steer. But the criteria is different now. He is not telling you to pass with any particular three miles or six miles and all of a lighthouse Yankee. No, he didn't ask you. This time he has given you something else which is called a time frame. I'm just going to quickly show you the first part of the question. You would have started like this. Initial fix and then you have a lighthouse Yankee. Here I'm not asking you to pass any safe distance with Yankee. If it was the case, I would have drawn a circle on Yankee and then started the question as a tangent. But now, I'm giving you a time frame from my initial fix. That means when I am half an hour after this particular initial fix, I should sail some CTS so that after half an hour, exactly after half an hour, I should have the lighthouse on my beam. It could be starboard beam or port beam. So you should realize one thing very, very important. I'm going to use a right angle triangle here. So whenever I use right angle triangle, which involves Pythagoras theorem and values, I should not have current and leave it. I should not have current and leave it. This is somewhat like your beam concept, which I have done, uh, or uh, not beam, it's a doubling of angle concept. I'm sorry, the previous uh, module I had done. There also I had used the word no current, no leave, because I will be using a right angle triangle. So uh, let us look at this. What difference does it make? He said after half an hour, I should have this lighthouse a beam with engine speed of 12 knots. You should realize after half an hour for 12 knots is six nautical miles. I'm not going to draw any circle on Lighthouse Yankee, but I'm going to draw a circle of six nautical miles from my initial position with that time frame. This is the circle. So this is a big difference between the two questions. Do you draw a circle on that future Lighthouse or do you draw a circle on my initial position? So the moment I draw this, now I'm going to draw a tangent exactly opposite from the Yankee Lighthouse. I'm going to draw two tangents here. The tangent is choice of yours. I've given you a clue with the color. You will not be able to do both the tangents at the same time. You will do only one tangent at the same uh, at one time. So you will choose as per your question, whether he's asking you starboard beam or port beam. Okay. Please mark the tangent points on both the sides. You know it is a skimming point. These are the two tangent points you will mark. So please see the difference. In the previous concept, I was drawing a circle on Yankee Lighthouse and I was making tangent there. But now I am doing exactly opposite on my initial fix with a distance of 6 nautical miles. Now after drawing the tangent, what do I do is join the tangent points to the initial fix. Please remember these are the two tangent points with the initial fix. And you will see this line is your CTS, the green color line joining from your center to the tangent point is your course to steer. 
again here also which means if i sail any way i sail i take that course and sail towards the tangent point now one side can be a course to steer for starboard beam this is the cts if he asks you port beam you can use this course to steer so this is a second type of uh, beam concept but as as i said you have to be careful you should not have current given to you here now i had mentioned that i can draw a right angle triangle if you realize if i join the lighthouse yankee the second lighthouse to the center where uh, of this circle which is my initial fix you can form two right angle triangles so obviously i can use right angle triangles also in this question so these were the two types of uh, beam concept which i intended to show i uh, you will see that both these concepts are coming quite often for uh, second mate level questions and mates level questions also it will be a part of a question uh, part a or something uh, you need to realize both are uh, different uh, otherwise you will do mistakes and at the same time when a current is given and when a wind is given you need to be careful about the beam and the cpa also so the principle never change beam is always perpendicular to your course steered or your fore and aft line which is your heading and cpa is always perpendicular to the cmg track Uh, i hope these two videos were good enough uh, for you to understand and clarify doubts and uh, uh, let's catch up uh, soon with a new video later on uh, again i'll be uh, looking for uh, chart work i'll get ahead with some other new concept uh, until then uh, keep watching jalprayag and uh, we'll see you soon